Hi there, so we're now on to the 5th of August and I'll just give you a quick run through on the allotment and then we'll uh, we'll have a dodge over at uh, the greenhouse at home we'll have a look at the giant onions because I'm done a video for uh, for about four weeks now so it'll be good to see uh, see how things are getting on uh, as you can see all of the dahlias are like like bushes really uh, like a hedge uh, I've just went through this morning and basically took all the, the buds out which are which are going to be too early so basically just going through uh, trying to time them for September shows um, I've left a couple on just to show you exactly what I've done so basically all the buds that's on now so this one will be in flower this week uh, th that one will probably be the same this week that one will be the week after in the ones further down if we can get in see some of them here that'll probably be two weeks time so basically what, what i'm doing is just removing the it's a bit brutal just removing the growth in fact it's really brutal and then what i'm doing here is getting it to a point where the bud is the size of a pea uh, that that should take about three weeks to flower so it's a bit harsh removing a massive grown tip um, but if you want to time the blooms for sure you need to be removing all of the buds that are on the flower now uh, on the plant now so quite a few to get through on this this bed here but um i've just spent a good good three hours stripping back all of the all of these ones here just to try and get them uh in, in some sort of control so that i i know that i'm that i'm going to get flowers right through september so it's no good having flowers in august when there's when there's no shows but um yeah i've been basically just trying to remove it so that i've got a a pea-sized bud on each plant uh, so as i say basically removing the grown tip and all the side buds and then what i want left is the the little bud on there and basically the paths are just laden with everything which is going to flower too soon so in the last video I did, I basically took all the plants down to the numbers. So certain varieties require a certain amount of stems to be grown up on. Um, so like the vocal gold crest, want to be grown at seven, eight up. And uh, that was done in the last video. And now I'm, I'm selecting which bloom, which, which bud, sorry, I'm wanting to be growing the main flower on. So plants are looking good. Uh, carrots this year are pretty pretty poor to be fair there's not a lot of uh, green growth on them but I've, I've, I'm working my way through just eating, eating some of the uh, the carrots which is on there um, not in particularly bothered about growing them for sure but I've left quite a few in so the little local shows should be okay to go off we'll have a look in the polytunnel and then we'll have a look at the croissants um, I said in the last video, I'm having major problems with uh, with thrip and spider mite. Well, it's absolutely laden on the plants now. Got some good leaks there. Not not the best. They're not going to win the, uh, the the national, but now they're looking okay. Size wise, the between 14 and 15 inches in the giants over here. Um, looking at about. Uh, 19 inches 20 inches round which is which is big but as i say thrip on the on the leaves the damage on the leaves is irreversible now so thrip damage down pointer not a disqualification but I, I said at the start of the season when i started i need to keep them clean well i don't think this heat's helped anyone this year to be fair one thing I haven't had is any going to, uh, go to seed. I've had a couple of double cent uh, leaks, which is like that one over there. Uh, I've got two there, which have double centered, so no good for no good for sure. But maybe it's okay for heavyweight. I don't know what the ruling is for um, a double centered leak for a heavyweight, but I'll I'll, I'll soon find out. Um, if if you have any ideas whether it's acceptable in the show, uh, just as a heavyweight. Uh, Please write it in the comments and I'll uh, I'll check that out. 
Um, chrysanthemums, first year grown croissants. Anemones in late flowering singles I've got in there. Um, they're down to the eight, eight stems up now. Um, I need to go through and just double check everything. But they're looking okay. Can't really follow them. So I've got, there's a bit of a mix in there. There's an anemone in there, which is quite short. But most of the anemones are over on the fence at the back there. I try to keep them separate, but I've managed to somehow mix them up in there. And you can actually tell uh, height-wise. So the majority of these are, these at the back here, are um, layer thrown singles. And then I've got a couple of plants of anemones in there, which are way short, but I'd rather have them on the short side than, than eight foot high. So that's it, quick quick visit around the garden. As you can see, all the foliage is uh, on the paths. But it'll soon rot down, it'll be okay. Um, quite happy with the dahlias. Uh, as I said in previous videos, I haven't really had a lot of time with work, but still keeping on top of it. Everything's looking okay. Uh, I'll have a quick look down the bottom. Um, one thing I've noticed is doing really well is actually the, uh, the fruit trees. Um, I've got some plums on and some decent apples, so I'll have a quick look down here. First year, the plum tree is fruited and they're looking absolutely superb. I don't know when they'll be ready to eat like, but they're looking okay. Apples, apples galore. Uh, no no um, pears this year, but... Uh, Everyone on the allotment seems to have this kind of disease. Uh, I don't know whether anyone's got any ideas, so please, if, you, if you've got any ideas, well, I can be spraying it to, to stop the uh, stop the nasty bugs getting into them and keeping the fruit. Um, but everyone on the allotments is seeming to have the same problem, so we need to uh, try and eradicate that one. Uh, gladioli, I haven't had a chance to cane them up, but I've just took some flowers that are going to be way too soon for shows. Um, my wife will be happy with them, so they're looking good. Very good. Happy with everything so far in the allotment. I'll, um, we'll go over to the greenhouse at home and I'll show you the big onions. Hi, so we're now in the greenhouse at home. And I don't know if you can hear us too well, but the, the maxi fan over on the corner there is blown by well, blown a gale. Um, basically, the temperatures in here are sitting at, you can see there, 27 degrees. Uh, it is, what, five o'clock now. Um, in the high temperatures in the greenhouse, unbelievable temperatures this year. Been peaking at 40, and something past that point, even with the fan on, window fully open window fully open and the door fully open um it's just been an unbelievably hot year as everyone knows it's perfect some made them with that um not so good to work in maybe it's not so good to grow plants in either um some plants love it some plants absolutely hate the heat it's going to be a tricky year um certain things on the on the shore bench but having said that each year is different, everyone knows that, so, but anyway, um, same, similar issue at home as to what I'm having on the allotment, uh, with the threatening spider mite, um, you can see the whiteness, uh, absolutely hammered by through, um, having said that though, like, so the one over the back there, really, really high neck, little weed in there, these little buggers keep growing really quick. So just for size comparison, that's my hand in there. Really tall neck. I've got a couple like that. You can see the browning. Um, I don't know whether it got some kind of uh, maybe it's the insecticide down one of the one of the flutes. But I thought it had stopped growing, uh, and it's actually still growing. Uh, so I've left it in. I was going to pull it out. I had two like that, and that was probably the worst out of the two. The other one died, but that one's kept on growing. The top growth still growing, so it's still putting on girth. So they're, they're looking good. I've, I would say, I, I don't know, it's been difficult, yeah. I can't really put down the negatives purely down to the season. Some of it's down to us not, um, not spraying regular enough, 
with insecticide. And other part of it is down to down purely down to the weather, just the heat. Um, but hopefully next year I'll get a bit more time. I said that for the last three years, but I'm gonna cut down on numbers what I what I grow next year, so it's more manageable. Um, and try and just enjoy it because it does get stressful uh, with the competitions and stuff, having the the constant pressure of having to get to the garden. Uh, I've got no choice but not do at least every other day. Ideally, twice a day, but at least every every other day. So we will see. Um, as I say, that one over the back there is sitting at twenty eight and a half. The last time I checked, it was probably Monday, so maybe up the twenty eight and three quarters, twenty nine inches round. Um, some of the smaller dumpy ones, uh, like so, that one there. Uh, this one down here, I'm sitting there 27 and a half. That one there, 27 and three quarters. So that, that, that average is about, about 27 and three quarter inches, which is roughly about 11 pound finishing weight. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the tall neck on them, really thick part on that part of the neck there, um, will hopefully add some of the weight. Um, especially at Harrogate when it gets cut off so we will see um, one thing to go through so the, the monitoring system what I'm using uh, which controls the fans is the, the minder which links to the maxi fan in the control unit on the wall there so basically when the temperature on there in the probe is there when the temperature gets above 25 degrees Celsius, it kicks the fan on. So it's all linked via Wi-Fi, really high tech stuff, brilliant bit of kit, and I can't really fault it. The only issues I can't fault with it is me and it keeps going off. Nothing to do with that, but me line coming into the house has a joint in, and it's failed. So issues with the, with the, with the Wi-Fi, but kit is phenomenal. Um, the, I know that they're developing different different things so that I can maybe link it with the um, Newtry drip which then links to the, the watering system so hopefully we can get it fully automatic so really looking forward to that I'm going to go and try and grow a few more onions I'll probably grow both sides of the, the greenhouse next year with giant onions and try and um, have a bit strengthened on that so we will see. So that's it. Um, I'll try and get another video in before the, the show starts, um, as soon as the dahlia start to come into flower. And um, if I don't see you beforehand, I'll probably see some of you at the shows. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. See you later.